Don't be unique, be a baddie. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. So today I decided to teach you guys a very important makeup tutorial. Today's tutorial will teach you how to be an Instagram baddie. Instagram baddies are all the rage right now, and I mean, why be unique when you can be an Instagram baddie? So we're gonna be taking this to this. So if you guys are interested, then just keep on watching. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. And if you click that subscribe button, it'll increase your chances of being the ultimate Instagram baddie. Don't ask how, it's true. Anyways, let's move on to the tutorial. So first, we're gonna have to pull back our hair. I can't use this. <laughs> what was I thinking? Yes, this is much more Instagram baddie. All right, we're gonna start off with some moisturizer. This is to help achieve that flawless perfection that is an Insta baddie. They have amazing skin, or so it seems. <laughs> you just gotta fake it till you make it, you know? Now that we have our face all moisturized, let's move on to the foundation next. Now, normally I do eyeshadow first, but to become an Insta baddie, you have to achieve a flawless complexion. Flawless. So I'm going to start off with a blurring primer and don't be afraid to go crazy with this. Pores do not exist on an Insta baddie. They just don't. Baddies also have such a beautiful glow, so we're going to add another primer. This time, it's going to be an illuminating one. If you think you've put too much on, then you have the right amount. We still haven't achieved the full-on glow, so I'm going to take some Cover Effects drops and add that as well. Now just blend that in using a beauty sponge. Oh, yes, I look glowy as of right now. This is perfect. All right, let's move on to foundation. So being an Insta baddie expert, I noticed that they're all quite tan and well, I'm, I'm already tan, but Insta baddies go big or go home. So we're gonna use two foundations just for that extra coverage. I'm going to mix in a darker foundation to achieve Insta baddie tan. So first we're going to apply this foundation using a brush for full coverage. Just gotta slap it on there, you know? You can't let the world know that you have pores. That is a huge Insta baddie no-no. Trust me on this, I'm a pro. Your main goal is to look nothing like yourself. So now we're gonna go in with a second layer, but this time with a beauty sponge to blur everything out. And while you're blending out your foundation, because this could take a while, I would suggest practicing your Insta baddie selfie face, which goes a little something like this. It's still not glowy enough. So I'm gonna go back in with the cover effects drops. Okay, now it's time for concealer. Now don't be shy with this step. Like I said, Insta baddies are not supposed to look human. Now it's time to set our face. I'm gonna start off with some banana powder. And then set the rest of your face with a setting powder. And again, don't be scared to go overboard. You want to cover those pores. All right, now face is set. Now it's time to frame the face by defining your eyebrows. So this part is pretty important, so I suggest using a ruler to help you out. Definitely don't want your eyebrows to look like cousins or sisters. No, they need to be identical. Just trace out the outline of your eyebrows and then we'll fill it in after. 
Okay, now that you have created a line with your ruler, use that as a guideline. Now aim to make your eyebrows a little bit of an ombre. So it starts out lighter here and then it gets darker as you keep going towards the tail of it um, because you want to be as unrealistic as possible. Don't forget to set your eyebrows down with some brow gel. All right, we're gonna move on to the eyes. So according to my research, it looks like almost all of the Insta baddies go for a brownish orangey color in their crease. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna add some of that color to your bottom lash line as well. We're going to slightly Highlight the brows and inner corners. Now on to eyeliner. So from what I've seen, the cat eye shape is the most popular among baddies. Since they all seem to be born with it, we are going to fake it till we make it and create a wing shape to mimic the cat eye. It should look like your wings can help you fly toward those sponsorships. Okay, so now we still want to create that open eye effect. So we're gonna go in with a nude aligner and put it on the waterline. Now on to mascara. We're gonna start off with curling our lashes. You wanna make sure they're so curled, they're practically pointing to your eyebrows. Now take a lengthening and volumizing mascara and apply it to the bottom and top lashes. You wanna go quite heavy handed, especially on the top lashes. Okay, so the first layer is done. Let's move on to the second layer. And let's just do one more layer for good measure. So you would think this would be enough, but not yet. We are going to add falsies in a little bit, but in the meantime, we are going to go ahead and do the rest of our face. Now we're going to take a contour powder and completely reshape your face. Remember, you do not want to look like yourself. That is not the goal. It should kind of look like a chocolate bar slapped you. The nose contour is extremely important. Your nose should be so tiny, people should wonder how you breathe. Now it's time to add some bronzer. If you think you're tan, you're not tan enough. This is to enhance your fake tan. And don't be afraid with this step. More is more, always. Now if you do wanna add blush, go for a more orangey colored blush. And you don't want to add it onto the apples of your cheeks, you kind of wanna go where you applied some of that contour because you don't want a cute round face, you want a very chiseled, Face. Now it's time for highlight. This is another pretty important step in being a baddie. You should be so bright you shine above all the other Instagrammers on Instagram. And again, don't worry about it being too much. There's no such thing. Highlighting the nose, remember you're trying to make your nose very tiny. So just a line and a dot like an exclamation mark. The highlight is just not bright enough to capture the attention of people so that they click on your Insta baddie Instagram. So add some more highlight. You thought we were done, didn't you? <laughs> of course not, silly. We still have some highlighting to do. I'm going to go in with this loose highlighter and this is to blind all of your Instagram followers. Don't forget the nose. <laughs> I'm gonna go back into that contour shade and create that button nose effect. So with a very tiny brush, just create a half circle right here. Perfect. So we're gonna jump back to the eyes and apply those falsies. I'm going to be using these lashes. They're actually Halloween lashes, but that just makes them even more perfect because they're just so over the top, you know? 
You want to apply these as close to your real lashes as possible. Even though they are fake lashes, you have to fool everyone into thinking these are your real ones. Did you think these were enough? <laughs> no, we have to add another pair. All right. They look so luscious and natural. Okay, now for the most important part of your makeup, the lips. But before we begin, you want to exfoliate the lips. This will make them smooth and luscious and they'll be a lot more plump because of the inflammation. You wanna exfoliate until you feel like your lips are about to bleed and then wipe it off. Now they should be swollen to almost perfection. I'm going to add some lip balm to create a base. So now let's move on to lip liner. You have so many options to choose from when going for a baddie lip. Um, you can choose a light nude, a dark nude, a medium nude, and everything in between. Just make sure it's a nude. So this is where our practice for the lip posing comes in handy. Make sure you do a pout and line your lips. And you wanna go a little bit outside of the line to give the illusion that you naturally have huge bee stung lips. <sighs> These lashes are gonna be heavy, I'm not gonna lie, but think of it as a workout for your face. So now your lips should look much fuller than they are naturally because who wants to go for that supernatural look? Not an Instagram baddie. Now I'm going to go for a matte nude lip, obby, and I'm going to create kind of like an ombre on my lips. So I'm going to start off with a darker nude and I'm going to kind of outline where I used the lip liner. Then I'm gonna go in with a lighter nude in the center. Do you see what I mean? So many options. Ugh. You wanna make sure everything is flawless, so go back in with your lip liner. I know it seems like a lot of work, but it does take a lot of hard work to be fake. I mean a baddie. It takes a lot of hard work to be a baddie. <laughs> So at this point, you can do any touch-ups necessary. All right, so once you've made any touch-ups that you would like, um, I just re-chiseled my jawline because it just wasn't sharp enough. But once you're done with all of that, you have to set all this down. I'm just going to use my all-nighter spray so that nothing budges. This is so your makeup doesn't budge doing everyday things such as grocery shopping, going to the gym, taking a shower. You have to have your makeup on fleek at all times. It should feel like you just jumped out of the pool. Now let's do something about this hair, shall we? All right, so the makeup is completely done. You should look like a totally different person and it should almost feel like you're wearing a mask. So the next step in achieving that perfect Instagram baddie photo is to take as many photos as humanly possible. You want your memory card to scream for help. And remember, when you're taking the photo, make sure to suck in those cheekbones and pouch your lip to really enhance what we did with the makeup. So it should be something like this. Now, once you have selected that one perfect photo, you should Photoshop it. There's so many apps that you can use these days. Facetune, Photoshop, the list goes on. Chisel your face, blur your skin. Don't just go for one filter. You wanna add as many as you can and if possible, make your lips look like they're going to explode. Now that you look like an Instagram baddie, those sponsorships will be flying right towards you. Remember, the goal is to look like every single girl on Instagram so that people notice you. Don't be unique, be a baddie. You should be aiming for something like this. 
And once you achieve that picture that looks nothing at all like you, congratulations, you have achieved Instagram baddie status. All right, guys, so those are all the tips that I have for you guys today. Join me next week when I teach you how to dress like an Instagram baddie. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!